and a scar on the medial aspect of her elbow after that surgery. This surgery was about uh, two or three years ago, and she still had a good bit of scar tissue, uh, and she was still actually having a little bit of pain and hypersensitivity in this area as well. So we insert our needle about uh, a half a centimeter away from the scar, and then a pretty superficial technique, we're going to take that 30 millimeter myotech needle and just kind of slide it directly behind uh, the back side of the scar, uh, just kind of in varying positions of the scar. I was I should have stabilized the skin right here, right here, and that would have let that needle go in a little bit easier. But I was kind of trying to stay out of the way of the camera. So just tap the needle in, superficial technique. I did stabilize the skin there, so the needle slides directly underneath that scar a little bit better. And now the fun starts. So a little collagen winding. I'd like to say it was gentle, but if there was volume attached to this video, you would have heard uh, that sweet student scream. <laughs> I think she said she felt like her soul was leaving her body at that very moment. That's a great technique for scar manipulation. However, not everybody can tolerate it. Furthermore, the location of the scar may not allow for this particular technique. Superficial scars, sensitive scars, and scars above vital areas may need an alternative technique. Hand scars, finger scars, and episiotomy scars are excellent examples. Here's another option for needle scar manipulation. It'd be very difficult to do that technique, to try to slide underneath the scar and then twist it just because there's not a lot of meat. There's not a, a lot of real estate here before we get into her actual, uh, you know, things underneath the structure of the skin. I was going to sound smart and I couldn't remember what those things were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> sure. Okay. So another technique that you can do for scar is just tap the needle directly into the scar tissue. And a lot of times you don't have to go crazy deep. Are you going directly over it, or are you mm -hmm. like kind of on the side of it? No, I'm trying to go in it. Because okay. this is a well healed scar. How's it feel? The that one wasn't bad. The first one he did um, was not great. That one wasn't good either. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do the whole thing, but I'm going to do a little bit more. This is a good one right here. You okay, kiddo? Yeah. Can I do two more? Sure. Right, this one will be spicy. Because I can feel kind of how hard some of that area is. Yeah, it's burn. I'm going to do this one right here. This is going to be a good one. Okay, and then we can just let this sit. We can just leave this for a hot minute. Initially, if the scar is very sensitive, this may be all that you can do. However, simply inserting a needle into the scar tissue could begin to initiate all the mechanotransducer processes that can improve scar tissue mobility. Then, once the patient can tolerate it, you can begin to manipulate the needle with a spinning technique to wind collagen around the rotating needle. So I just take this and I can just do just a little bit of twisting of the needles. Oh yeah, I don't feel those. So especially if you don't feel it. I would oh, that definitely... one I do. <laughs> Definitely do yeah, some spinning. Yeah, those are fine. You're right though, like once it sat for a second, it was fine. It's just that initial. So I'm just taking these and I'm just twisting them a little bit. This is gonna be a good one. <clears throat> okay, that one's good on that one. Yeah, yeah. that's good. So then after I twist them for a little bit, I can just let those sit. After the scar tissue's collagen is wound tight around the needle, you can lift the needle and visualize the rise of tissue within and around the scar. Lifting the tissue with the needle is another form of scar manipulation. Look at that. You okay? Mm -hmm. Can y'all see how that's spreading mm -hmm. a good centimeter on each side of that scar? And the crazy thing is, this is just the tip. Like, I mean, it's just barely in the scar. Look at that one. That one's good. That's a good lift. Spicy. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, that's a good one.